What is going on, party people? It is I, Fomencio, back at it once again with the last prediction video for the pre-E3 shows. Joining me, of course, is Phenom Sage. What is going on, buddy? What is going on? It's time to talk about potentially, maybe even, the hypest conference of all. It's. I'm certainly excited about it. We're talking about Nintendo, boys and girls. The big in. Wow. Nintendo. What are we going to be seeing at this press conference? 45 minutes direct, of yeah, glorious yeah. direct footage. <laughs> Directly to you. <laughs> yeah. Koizumi uh, has been confirmed to make an appearance. I'm Koizumi's the best, dude. Koizumi's great. Do you think he's going to Do you think Koizumi's going to be in this direct with Cappy on his head? Uh, you know what? I'm going to go one step further odyssey dlc uh, that's right the, off the bat <laughs> let's go let's get into it odyssey <laughs> DLC. do you think it's the, uh the um, the delfino rumor i think thing? it'll be the delfino rumor oh my god it, you know what they reveal that that's coming out like after e3 like they'll legit reveal that, like be that like, day <laughs> yeah i guarantee that's what Nintendo does. so cool it's like oh you can play this either like in a couple of hours or like after the show or even like even just like a couple weeks from from make it a reasonable price please 10 bucks 10 yeah please but god delfino in odyssey would just be a blessing i'm gonna need a little bit more though because delfino is a pretty small area i mean i just i don't know what they could do with it there's also a rumor of like luigi's mansion possibly being a level as well i've heard that being kind of thrown around that could be kind of cool like a haunted style level we really didn't see like that kind of vibe in odyssey so i I could i would be down for that too i mean we do have bubble lane and that does kind of have a delfino vibe a little bit so yeah but yeah that's that's a good prediction i think that's definitely a possibility uh something that we know is for sure i kind of want to just get this out of the way because it's like the one thing that's confirmed to be there is uh super smash brothers i feel like we have to talk a little bit about smash on the switch Uh, here's the question this is really this is like open for discussion like is we're we've had this conversation before is this a port is this a new game what's going on with this smash brothers i think it's both i think it is a port that is heavily modified i think it is it is i mean that's kind of what smash is in general to be honest but like i just think it's a heavily modified port there's going to be like five new characters some new modes revamped online slightly better graphics here and there like little touch up i mean smash already looks pretty good i don't i don't really think i'm it's i'm hoping for a new game new. I, yeah and, and i you know i'm not saying i don't want a new game i just that's just what i think it's going to be because it just feels so soon for i mean smash games are like five six years apart most of the time I guess I, smash this is four yeah this it's four been, years apart it's just sakurai you know how he is he's very he's very he's a busy dude it's time dude it's time it's okay you know what new smash We're, it's, it's a new game it is a new game. And uh, with, a, a, you know, a brand new Smash game, that, you know, that obviously... What kind of characters are we going to be seeing in this game, dude? Like, obviously, you know, the the Splatoon kids, the, the Squid kids that we know and love are going to be in this game for sure. But who else do you think is going to be showing up? I, I got some predict... I got some some wild predictions. <laughs> I'm curious if you could... if you Give could... me... Give me... I'm going to say the same things I've always said. Give me K. Rule. Give me Simon Belmont. Give me... Uh, give me those two. I'm good with you're, those you're good two. You're good with K. Rule. I mean, K. Rule needs to be in this game. Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze just came out. I don't even know if K. Rule's in that game, to be honest. But, like, Donkey Kong's kind of hot right now. We got that Donkey Kong DLC coming out for Rabbids, too, uh, which is probably going to be showing up here as well with a you know full review. I don't even know. But uh, I think it just makes so much sense. Like, we need K. Rule in this game. He's just a beast. He's yeah. a big beast. We need another. We need a Bowser kind of rival. Like that'd be so cool. And that's the trailer just writes itself right there. Like that'd be yeah. so cool. Um, somebody that I would really and then Simon Belmont too. Like I just I don't know if he's that popular anymore. Like I know hardcore fans love him, but like kids just don't know who that is at all. <laughs> like, I mean, kids don't know who Ike is. Like, let's get real. True. True. Yeah, you're right. What am I thinking? Sakurai doesn't give a crap about that. He does yeah. not care. He's literally putting him whoever he wants, basically. Um, but yeah, that could be... That, I, want, I just want a Castlevania stage more than I want Belmont, to be honest. Oh my god, that would be so cool. Yeah, I just want a Castlevania stage. But um, somebody that I think is going to be popping up into this game... I, I'm just going to say it, and you're going to hate me so much. <laughs> you're going to hate me. Oh no. Banjo. 
<laughs> Banjo Kazooie, be cool. to be exact. Uh, I just. Phil Spencer I, said I, it. I, yeah, he said it. And Nintendo and Microsoft have been a little buddy buddy lately. They've been kind of cool. They've been they've been playing nice with each other. And I think this this just works on all fronts. I think it's just an outstanding idea. Yeah. I mean, his move set kind of writes itself too. Like he'd have his own stage. Like it would just be it'd be bonkers. I want to see it so much. I, I I just want to see him come back as an IP, have just a new banjo game. But that's probably not ever happening. So at least let's get him in this game. Let's get him in Smash. Get his get him his own stage. Just I, I need it. I really do. Um, yeah. That that's not what what is gonna hurt you. This next character oh, no. is what's gonna hurt you. Speaking of the Microsoft buddy buddy relationship, what it, what? <laughs> Steve from Minecraft <laughs> in Smash. I Minecraft's <laughs> one of the biggest games in the world. There's no denying that. Sakurai <laughs> said that he's not into just putting Nintendo characters. He's into putting icons in Smash. <laughs> and no, I'm not talking about that terrible Project M game. I mean, just iconic characters that, that, that are just known to be video game characters. And Steve is, again, like, everybody knows Steve. What do you think? Things are getting quiet, so it's scary. <laughs> Moving on from Okay, 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 okay. Not, not Steve, but a Minecraft stage. You have to do that at least. Like, that would be high. No, I don't have to. We're done talking about this. <laughs> um, I, let's talk about the big one that everyone is just so excited, including myself, to see gameplay for. That Metroid Prime, Prime 4, 4 greatness. We, I mean, we will be seeing gameplay. You think we're seeing gameplay? Yep, full gameplay sequence. I, I certainly hope so. I really, really. do. <laughs> yeah. If it's 45 minutes, probably not. Probably not, but it's going to be... We're gonna I think see it'll something. be a pretty beefy trip. Uh, you know what? I take it back. It will. That, that'll be the the one game dream that they really on. focus on. Let's dream on. Let's turn the dreams up on this on this prediction video. I'm down because Nintendo, it's just open season. Like anything is possible because they just have so much under their belt right now. They have a Fire Emblem game like that. That's probably showing up here, right? Uh, Fire Emblem? Yeah, they, have, they apparently have a Fire yeah. Emblem game for the Switch coming out. We don't know what that looks like, what it's called. Is that this year? I, I don't know. We don't know. That's the thing. Like, oh, yeah, again, that's it's, right. just, it's just open season. Like, every it, there's that. Bayonetta 3, we're probably going to see gameplay for that. I don't think that. One of these games we're just getting a trailer for and moving on. It's probably going to be Bayonetta 3. I could see yeah. that, that possibly being. And in all one. fairness, for Prime 4, like, we... We've only seen a logo for that game. Yeah, that's yeah, that's another. Thing. But they said 2018 for Prime Four. I they, saw they that. Did? did they? Correct Pretty us in the comments. Almost po I'm almost positive yeah, that they said 2018. Please correct us in the comments. I I want to know for sure what's going on there. I'm too lazy to search it up myself. Um, but yeah, Prime Four gameplay is gonna make E3. That's best of show contender kind of stuff right there. Um, something else that's that's everyone's little darling. Uh, that everyone just wants to see happen is uh, Animal Crossing for the Switch. It, oh yeah. Why have hasn't this been announced yet? Like that should have been one of the first. That should time. have been a launch title for the Switch, in my opinion. Like it's time to get this going. This is just so beautiful for the Switch. Just a perfect pick up and play, and then set down on the go game. Yeah. Like With portability, just like just everything about it. I just it just doesn't make sense not to put it there. Yeah. <laughs> I have a better one. Okay. I've been saying this for years. It's time. Zelda Dungeon Maker. I was going to say, we're definitely going to see... I was, I was waiting until we got into like the smaller games, but I think we're going to see Mario Maker on the Switch. But a Zelda Dungeon Maker would definitely get me a little more excited. I'm not going to lie. It's just begging to be made. It's It would be the perfect in-between game for the next console, Zelda. Like, just make it happen, Nintendo. Come on. <laughs> I mean, it just ah, uh, it just it it would be excellent. Give us the different art styles. Give us that Link's Awakening art style. Like, oh my you God. will even if it's not a dungeon maker. I will say right now, one hundred percent, you will see something Zelda related at at Nintendo's yeah, conference. Zelda's hot right now. Like Zelda is bigger than it's ever been before. It might, they need it might to capitalize on him. It might be a two D Zelda. For, for still on the switch kill the 3ds please it'll be <laughs> it'll be a it might be a 2d zelda it might be zelda dungeon maker where you make your own 2d zelda dungeons that would be so cool yeah. do it nintendo or 
and this is wild. Or you do what people have been saying for ages and you make a Majora's Mask style sequel to Breath of the Wild using the same engine and we get a new console Zelda game pretty soon. Pretty soon. I mean, if that gets shown off, that's not coming out for like a year and a half probably. But I mean, that would, yeah. that's some greatness right there. That would get it. I would start crying if I saw that. <laughs> a new Zelda. <laughs> I would legit start crying. I mean, God. No, oh, man, Any time a new Zelda is announced, it's it's always a good time. It really is. And that's usually a good way to make me say, oh, they won. Yeah. Right. Um, let's let's talk a little bit about ports. I mean, Wonderful 101 has been rumored to, to be something happening on the Switch for a little while. Do you think we could possibly see a 101 port? Oh, I think we'll be seeing plenty. I of think I think there's going to be ports. a lot of Wii U ports. I think Mario Maker, regardless of Zelda Dungeon Maker happening or not, I think that's a lock for sure. Either yeah. that or there's a sequel to that game in 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 the pipeline. I'm seeing a really good prediction for a Wii U or not even a Wii U port, just a port to Switch of the Metroid Prime trilogy yeah. in time for 4. Yeah, that I want to play through those games again. Everybody does playing them portably too. Like that's a no-brainer. Having motion controls. I want to play them for the first time. Yeah, like yeah, a lot of people haven't played those games, and they're all excited for four. And it's kind of hard to play all of them. You got to have a Wii. You got to have a GameCube. You have to have like it's just it's a little bit of a pain in the ass. And with no virtual console, like it's time. Yeah, it's time to bring that trilogy here. I I want to see it. I certainly do. Just don't make it sixty dollars, Nintendo. Come on now. Yeah. Um. They will. (laughs) <laughs> you're, see, you're thinking like we could possibly see like do you th- I'm just gonna say do you think we could possibly see a new Mario game? 3D Mario? 3D Mario. Oh no. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, what if it's like a if we're getting Odyssey DLC here? No. I mean, I'm, I'm oh, saying no. instead of that, I'm not saying that that's like one of the, those. I, are... No, because Odyssey DLC is happening. Okay, you're standing. That's 100. percent I no, it's way too soon. The only reason. Zelda is possible as if they even use the same engine. They might not even do that. Yeah. Yeah, you're probably right. You're probably right on that. Um, There's some weird rumors third-party-wise. I'm seeing some weird stuff where I'm looking. Apparently, Persona 5 is pretty rumored for Switch. God, that would be... I would I would play it on the Switch. That I would be I would excellent. legitimately get that game for the Switch. And that it would works be so well with that game on the style. Switch. Yeah, like, yeah. it just... Oh, we could get a Persona rep in Smash. Wow, that'd be so cool. Get that, get that, that pro tag in there. Let's go. Yeah, that, that would be, be so really cool. cool. At least get a stage. At least get a Persona stage and like that music blaring. Like that'd be super. Oh high. my god, yes. Get that P5 soundtrack in there. Let's go. I think I think it makes sense. And there's, there's that Shin Megami game coming to the Switch as well. Shin Megami Five. Oh, I didn't even think about that. That's to that could totally show up at e3 yeah i think that's that's probably a lock we haven't seen that in a little while and i mean like stuff like that popping up in smash that excites me like that's kind of cool i mean just those games in general are exciting so um, i'm also yeah. seeing some some fallout 3 rumors why three like i get yeah, it's, why it, it's the anniversary but like four would work fine on this way like, why are we not porting four it, that would be kind of really lame if, it would. if three is what what was announced yeah that's i don't i do not desire to go back to three like four i mean like it, it, it's a better it doesn't game matter like, how good of a game it is like it's just not relevant it's anymore. not like it fallout 3 is not skyrim like it is not yeah. that kind of game where like it's not a revolutionary game that changed people's lives like skyrim has like and like Fallout 4 isn't either. It certainly isn't, but it just makes more sense to put that game on there because it's again a newer it's game. More recent, yeah. You know something else that Get I did. Get that Fallout 76 on there. Yeah, you know you want to know something I did. Yeah, that's that's what I was just about to say. Like, what do you think? Like Bethesda is doing around. Like, what do you think that that's going to stay true? Their partnership? Do you think 76? Is I think coming it will. I don't know if 76 is coming, but I think something that they're announcing here will be on Switch. You know what I wouldn't be surprised of? Like that. That little deal that's been going on with with Bethesda and Nintendo has been lucrative. It really has for both of them. What are you, what are you thinking? A Bethesda exclusive. Starfield exclusive <laughs> on the Switch, baby. Let's go. I don't I don't know about that. I was thinking just a brand new IP, something new, fresh. I feel like Bethesda. something like that would have been rumored already, if that was happening. I, I still believe in the surprise. I Everything think... on Bethesda's already gotten leaked. Like, let's get real. Yeah. 
I'd rather have New Vegas on the Switch than 3. <laughs> yeah, I would too. I'm also seeing Grand Theft Auto 5 here on the Switch. That would be really cool. I mean, just because just... actually that's su- that's a really old game as well, but at least it's still relevant. So. Yeah, people are still playing it and playing that, that portably is just <laughs> wild. <laughs> that would that would keep GTA 5 in the top 10 in PDs a little while longer oh there. Oh my god, dude, don't even get me started. <laughs> that yeah, that would be intense. Um something else that, that that's going to show up Hmm. Fortnite on the Switch. Yeah, we're getting Fortnite. Apparently, Diablo three is rumored. Apparently, Dragon Ball Fighters is coming to Switch. Yeah, like, that's that was a part of the same leak that had um, Fortnite and Paladins, which is both of those games are pretty much confirmed for the Switch at this point. So, Fighters also, is definitely coming to the Switch, which is really really cool. That's that's exciting. Also, Builders two is confirmed. It's not Switch exclusive, but I could see it showing up here. I think it shows the best at at, at, a, at a Nintendo show for sure. I think that game. I think more people would play that game on the Switch, to be honest. Yeah. So yeah, I think that. I, I think, think that. I don't because I don't think PlayStation is showing that. So. I don't think. So. I think that game. That, is, that's a Switch. That's a Switch uh, Nintendo showcase there. I think. Yeah, for sure. Just I, a small little trailer. Yeah. Um. I'm seeing some rumors about Super Mario 3D World being ported. Maybe that can be your little 3D Mario thing there. Ugh, no thank you. <laughs> that's, that's one port I just do not need. We already have a great Mario game. I don't need anything. Like, I, why? Like, what's the point there? I think there are a bunch of other... 3D World is good. Yeah, 3D World is a, is a fun game. Um, something that I've actually heard some rumors about recently is um oh man i just lost it in my head i you i hate you man you just made me lose it in my head right when you said right when you said the 3d world is looking oh i I thought of it um we sports or like switch sports or something switch sports i've heard some rumors about something like that i think someone on reset error somewhere i've heard someone dropping some stuff like that do you think that could be a possibility i just don't care joy con sports I've got a game that people do care about, though. <laughs> that was a game... just a disaster. I shouldn't even have said that. <laughs> <laughs> a game that people have been waiting for for years. Is More it... than a year. Decade plus people it, have been waiting. Does it start with an M and end with a 3? Yep. <laughs> Bring it. I've been professing that this will happen and nobody believes me everybody's like you're lying you're an emily rogers shill i don't care it's happening too many people have said this is happening yeah Lord it K. is happening emily rogers a multitude of other people like it's, Eurogamer. Eurogamer has said this frequently it's it's it is a thing apparently this has been ready to release for years here's here's my here's my uh i, I think it is going to happen but here's a little caveat to that shadow drop no, this this game shadow dropped. This game is releasing physical. Oh wow! Box art physical. That would be so cool. I think it's gonna be like a big deal. I think they're gonna make a big. It will be a big deal. And the bad thing about that is it'll probably end up being like sixty dollars. Don't but... <laughs> make it. That would be an outrage. That that I would not stand for that if they did that. This should be. I, they'll probably forty is the absolute. I wouldn't even be happy with forty, but forty is the absolute highest <laughs> yeah. you could charge for this, and that is that is a stretch. That is a huge stretch. Twenty is what it should be. Yeah, um, but for physical, if it's twenty, I'll physical, be happy. Thirty, forty, I, I, whatever. 30, I get it. Thirty yeah. max for physical. <laughs> max, yeah, but physical would be really cool, or at least have the option to get it physical because like a box art would just be really really cool for that game. Oh yeah. Um, yeah, I, Mother 3, it's time. Like, that game, it, it needs to happen. It's been rumored for far too long for it not to happen. Yeah. It's happening. Um, again, like, there's 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 a lot of other rumors that have been flying Wait, around. Wait, I have an even bigger pretty thing to add to that. What's that? It won't be Mother 3. It will be Mother 3 Remake for Switch. Oh, my God. it will be in an updated engine no even better than that mother 3 where you can choose to either play with the updated graphics or the old style wonder boy did that for the switch that was really really cool i wouldn't be surprised if they got those devs to work on it like that would be super super cool to have something like that get an indie dev on there like have them just working on this in the background of everything that's hype that's super hype oh man um 
it's kind of, I, I hate to mention this, it's something that needs to be talked about uh, that a lot of people are super down on right now. Uh, for some reason, I, I thought we already knew all about it, but that's Nintendo Online or Switch, whatever whatever it's called. Do you think they're going to be bringing up anything about that during this this little show they have? When when was the day that they said it's starting? I don't know the date specifically, but Didn't I they be- say like fall. It's September, I think, is when it's when it's going up. So yeah, they will mention it. They'll probably mention how the the NES monthly thing works. Yeah, I mean it, it. It's just unless they plan, they're planning on having a little. I mean, I could see an online direct. I'm still holding like, out for Virtual Console. What did they announce Virtual who Console? Said that? Who, who said what? Who said that it wasn't getting Virtual Console? A Nintendo said that. They said that, like, oh, we don't have plans on releasing games under that banner. That's, again... Something's going on with that, dude. That's sounding fishy. That's sounding definitely fishy. Uh, What if they announce Mother 3 with the Virtual Console? Or with whatever they're using? Like, they're just like, that's the first game that's going to be available on this this classic gaming area of the eShop or whatever. Like, that would be... That would be really cool. <laughs> I've got some smaller smaller things here. I mean, there's uh, plenty of ports to talk about still. I mean, we could bring uh, up a bunch of ports. Yeah. Um, I think Rage 2's coming to Switch. <laughs> <laughs> that game looks way too good to be on Switch. I thought Wolfenstein um, 2 did as well, but that game's coming to... We probably will see something of Wolfenstein 2, like at least a release date on when that's coming uh, out. Man, I don't care. Like, I don't, that's the problem with them. Wolfenstein 2 is amazing. I don't care how good it is. Like that, that ship has sailed. Like that True. game is not relevant anymore. That day, that non day and date killed it for me. Like if, yeah. it, if it had a day and date, like I might have picked that game up on the Switch. But the fact that it's come out so much later, exactly. Hopefully, like that's you're what, already that's playing what, through it right now. That's what they need to fix, though. If seventy six is coming to the Switch, get that day and date, please. This is what please. that's what the Wii U had. Like when they did get third party, it was just super late. Yeah, like, like I don't, stop this. Yeah, we can't be doing that anymore. Like this, these are new. I get with with Wolfenstein and with whatever. Like you know, those games were in development way before the Switch was even announced. But we're talking about new games now. Like seventy six, they could easily get that game working and on the Switch before. I mean, I don't know what that game even is. It definitely, it might not be able to run on the Switch. But like you know what I mean. Like new games need to be on the Switch. Yeah. Um, but you were saying that you had some some crazy thing or something. Just some no, some oh, smaller little things, stuff. Little things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like what about what about getting that N sixty four classic announcement? That's been heavily rumored for a while. I just is it even possible to have all that running on a little thing? Oh, it's possible. It's possible, all right. This is a hundred dollars though, right? This one's going for a hundred. No, I think you keep this at sixty. God, wait, wasn't the SNES eighty? Oh, then, nah, I guess. I'm pretty sure the SNES was 80. Yeah, but, yeah I guess I mean, you'd like, have to charge 100. And, like, how many games is on there, too? Like, I mean, you definitely get, like, Ocarina, like, full Ocarina of Time with Let's Mario go. 64, with Mario Kart 64, with Smash Bros, like, GoldenEye, probably. Star Fox. Star Fox, definitely. Like, getting all those games there. Speaking. Good. Banjo needs to be there, by the way. Speaking of Star Fox. Fox. Oh my god, how could we forget? <laughs> how could we forget? This is one of this is gonna be one of my most anticipated games to see at E3. <laughs> that Star Fox Grand Prix greatness. I I this literally is in my top five most anticipated games to see at E3 for sure. I what what is this? What is this? Purely because of that retro that retro name attached yeah it's that's one of those studios where you find out they're working on something even if they made a game about a sentient shoe i would want to play that game <laughs> like, <laughs> i don't care like retro's just some on some some god sauce for sure and i i i this game i mean on paper this game sounds amazing like i don't i don't yeah. understand why people would are complaining about this this game sounds incredible you, you want Star Fox zero again like i want something new and fresh give me this game that's again. what i'm saying yeah like what else i guarantee going on? all these naysayers all these people who are like this sounds stupid once they see that gameplay they're gonna be like oh my god this looks incredible yeah it's i, I think and it will look incredible because it's rare it will. i'm not rare i'm sorry it's uh, retro but pretty much rare yeah um but yeah that that game's gonna look do, my question to you is: There's, there's kind of like a missing little chunk uh, for the Switch's releases coming out this year. There's still at least one more big game coming out this year for the Switch that we don't know about yet. Oh yeah. 
Like, I don't think Pokemon Let's Go blah 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 is, is like the big game for the winter or whatever. Nope. You think that... I think that Star Fox game could zoom in and take that spot, honestly. Uh, no, we just got that reveal. That's 2019. I Smash Brothers is coming out. That'll probably be... Oh, yeah, be what am I thinking? November. Yeah, Sma no, uh, yeah that's, that's definitely... That's, that's probably it, actually. Never mind. <laughs> that's, that's probably it. <laughs> Smash and Pokemon. Those are some heavy hitters for sure. I don't think they need anything else. I feel like there's a chance that Metroid could come out this year. We just haven't seen the game yet at all. Like, it's just so yeah. hard to say. Like, the I, fact that we haven't yeah. even seen a glimpse... And they literally, in the, in that trailer, they said, I want now something in other than Smash. I mean, I just need a big game, like a like a big boy game, not like a fighting game, not some weird Pokemon Go game. I, I don't hate that game, but it's definitely not looking incredible. Now that, now that we know Pokemon Switch is next year, like, that's worrying to me. Yeah, yeah what's their game like, of the what year contender this year? this year? I don't think they'll have one. I mean, Smash will win Best Fighter, probably, but, like... Other that's what I was there. hoping for. I was hoping for Metroid this year. Hey, that's looking doubtful for me. I'm not saying that, like, as in, you know, I, I just, realistically, I'm saying that's just probably not going to happen. That Star Fox is zooming in, my boy. <laughs> that's I don't this. think so. We haven't even, se we've seen more of Metroid than we have that game. True, but, I mean, what is, this game, the fact that Retro's been so quiet lately tells me that this game has been in development for a long time. I don't know. I can hope. I we'll see. Well, I mean, there's also Fire Emblem Two that could possibly be showing up this year. That's that's definitely a possibility. Again, we haven't seen anything of that either. But it, do you think? Well, we will be seeing Fire Emblem at, yeah, at E3. Fire Emblem Memories. Do you think they will? They showed Let's Go at this private event because they will be showing the yeah, 2019 was, Pokemon. I'm not at even E3. joking. When they revealed Let's Go Eevee and Pikachu. I wasn't even thinking about the game at all. I was thinking, does that mean... Is it possible? <laughs> yeah. Could it be? <laughs> Are we going is to it see this? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I... Who knows? Who knows, man? I mean, what what does that game look Late like? 2019. Like, that's a year away. Do, do, I don't know. A teaser. A yeah, I teaser. think we will get a teaser. I think that I game... think it'll be damage control for all the people who are like, this Let's Go looks stupid. You're ruining Pokemon. Yeah. Yeah, I think they're going to show Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee again. They're going to have, like, a little quick trailer. And then at the end of that trailer, they're going to have, like, another little segment where they're like, yeah, we're making this game. Here's a little teaser. It's called Pokemon Stars. Like, I mean, but see, that's the thing. Like, Eurogamer still claims Pokemon Stars is a thing. That is a thing. Yeah. It's been a thing. They've been working on it before the Switch even came out. It's, it's like, it it's ready to be shown. I think there is enough to be shown for sure. So, who knows? Your gamers definitely yeah. keeping in keep, keeping that close to their card, uh, their their chest for sure. In in terms of like, you know, that they they're claiming that it's a real thing. So, fingers crossed, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Um. But yeah, like that's that's Nintendo Indies too. Like, we need to talk a little bit about Indies. I mean, we don't know exactly what's coming, but that's will we always get a final Octopath Traveler trailer? I think we'll get a mention, like, in the little... Because it'll probably be one of those same directs where it's, like, the headlines or whatever. And don't forget to check out Octopath coming out in July or whatever. Like, I think we will get something like that, but... I don't think it's going to be anything extensive. I think there will be a crazy reveal that none of us are expecting. Like, Octopath is in the Final Fantasy VI universe. Where... Like, no, I got it. I got it. Where is Pikmin 4? That has been rumored for ages. Um, something that, even rumored. Like Miyamoto said, the game was almost done like years ago. Here's here's my pitch. Nintendo what? and Ubisoft team up again. Uh, no. For Pikmin Four, it's not called Pikmin no. Four. It's called Rabbids Eat Pikmin. That would be totally something that Miyamoto would do too. <laughs> it's like you just on the box, you see like a rabbit about to like put a Pikmin in his mouth. <laughs> It's not, Don't it's not. do this. That would be clean, though. That, that's a cool title, actually. Rabbids Eat Pikmin. I like that. But no, please, God, don't do that. I definitely don't want that. Uh, Pikmin, like, it, it, Miyamoto said it was done. They said, they're like, oh, yeah, the game's, like, 70% done. Like, that was three years ago. Maybe yeah. even a little more, actually. That was, like, Wii, Wii U was still a thing then. <laughs> I think it's a high possibility that we could see that game. Oh, man. And no one's talking about it. Nobody's talking about it, but we are. 
because we're cool yeah. like that. But <laughs> I just, I, man, like, it's so weird that I've never seen a developer literally say, yeah, the game is, like, basic. We, we're well into development and that, and then just nothing for nothing. years. Not months, not weeks, years. And that's just insane. That is, that's crazy. Um, yeah, man, I, I, I really don't know if Pikmin's happening. I don't, I don't even know. If, maybe they canceled that game. I don't, I just, I, I can't, I can't put my finger on it. It's not canceled. It's showing up. You say it like it's a bad thing. No, I'm, I'm oh, saying oh, it's you, a good thing. Oh, hey, you, you think that's coming out this year? No. I think it will show up, though. Okay. Okay. I'm down for some Pikmin greatness. I'm down. And there will be another insane reveal on top of Pikmin. I, th- I think that Nintendo... New IP. Yeah, I think Nintendo has something new up their sleeves. It might not even be new IP. I think that, like, zero. I I still. I, I think I, I told think you about this. I think it will be a new IP. Like every single year, they've been revealing a new IP. Yeah, and, and I think Splatoon, I then Arms. Like we're getting something new. Yeah, I, I can't remember who said this. It was somebody, but that it might have been Miyamoto actually, or Koizumi, or somebody. But they said that they are going to be focusing on working on newer titles. Like they want to create new iconic characters to put into games and like new characters for Smash, basically. Like they want to create, they want to be responsible for furthering the generation and not just and, always harkening back to the old ones. And whatever new IP they show at E3, that main character will be in Smash. Ooh, ooh, it's got it, that character's that game's got to be good. That's got to yeah. be a good game with a good developer tied to it. Ooh, speaking of really good developers, what about Monolith Soft? Do you think they're showing anything? Apparently, they've been working hard on something. Yeah, they could. I mean, I think it's a high possibility. Like, apparently, they're working on a brand new JRPG and sequels no, yeah, to yeah, X. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw... I, no, yeah, I saw the room. They said, it, they, said that, like, they were working on something dark. Like M rated. Yeah, give me an M rated JRPG on the Switch that's not Persona Five. Let's go. That sounds incredible. What a that's a great way to just add some diversity to that lineup for sure. That's cool. Yeah. I would be totally. And apparently they opened up like another branch or something, like another studio. Monolith. Monolith is ridiculous. Square Enix needs to take a little little lesson from them and, and learn the ways of creating big open RPGs. Like I have and something not else. Ten years for them. What's that? I have something else. It sounds like it's going to be something crazy. This this is... I I can't believe I didn't think of it. It's time to bring it back in its full glory. Paper Mario 5. (laughs) This is a pipeline dream for Matthew, uh, viewers. This is something that he's dreamed of. Go back to the basics. RPG, turn-based combat. Let's go. It's time. Or... Thousand Year Door HD remake by Blue Point. <laughs> <laughs> I would I would take either of those. Yeah, I would I would be totally or GameCube Virtual Console. Hey, could that be a thing? Nope. <laughs> oh man, that's some, that's some <laughs> sadness right there, man. That's some yeah. sadness. It really um, does hurt. Yeah, it hurts me. That's disappointing. We get that GameCube Mini. Nope. <laughs> I don't, I, that really is not possible. There's no way. <laughs> um, I think it is possible. I just don't think they're going to do it. Yeah, I don't, I don't think Game so. GameCube is already mini. Yeah, like, well, what more do you want? <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I think that's it. I think that's Nintendo. Yeah. We, we talked for quite a bit there. That that There's a lot of interesting things going on for sure. There's a lot of rumors. Again, a lot, a lot of stuff Nintendo's been kind of keeping on the DL. In terms of big reveals and bigger games, like, aside from Star Fox, there really hasn't been anything that's been leaked. And even Star Fox, what, we don't know what that is. We don't know what that looks like. So We don't know what it looks like. Yeah. yeah. So there really hasn't been too much in terms of, like, it's 45 minutes, too. This is one of their beefier directs at E3 in the last two years, so that's exciting as well. I think it is the most. Yeah. I don't think they've ever gone over 45 minutes. That tells me that they have lots to show. Hopefully it's not all garbage. I mean, Nintendo is known to show some some stupid stuff, but hopefully they can breeze past that. I mean, their directs are fantastic. Like, really well recently, paced. all of their directs have been fire. Like, even that little mini yeah. direct. Like, in terms of, like, revealing stuff and showing new things and even showing old stuff, like, it's really just, like, bang, bang, bang. Like, they, they just, they're just, like, showing this stuff off really quickly. Like, here's 3DS. 
three games yeah. we're done with that switch like let's show this that's this like it just works really really well e3 last year was really really fun having 45 minutes of that that sounds like an absolute blast to me yeah yeah i think that's pretty much it uh <clears throat> doesn't really matter what we think though what matters is what you think make sure to comment down below and give us your <laughs> thoughts on all of these predictions and of course give your own i'm sure there's some crazy things that we didn't get to mention there's i could have talked about smash for 45 minutes we breeze past yeah. that. I could still. I mean, I, will. I avoided talking about it because it's just. It's we too will much. talk about it in the post discussion. Oh, yes, we will. Uh, also, they're holding a tournament too, a Smash tournament. That's going to be fun watching. It's going to be really fun watching, especially if that's a new game. God, God, man, three. It's <laughs> so great. Um, it really yeah, is. I think that's pretty much it. Also, Ninja Turtles for Smash, and. Um, yeah, again, make sure to comment down below. Hit the like button, Master Chief and Smash. And um, I think we're pretty much done, right? Yeah. I think that's it. Can't wait for that Master Chief reveal. <laughs> uh, Smash Brothers is going to be the hypest thing at that show. Let's get real now. Um, anyway. <laughs> I'm just really excited for Smash. Man. I, I, and the game I am controllers, too, man. That's going to be fun. Um, yeah, thank you guys very much for watching. And until E3, can't believe I'm saying that. Oh, man. Until E3. We'll catch you guys later. Bye-bye.